Hi, welcome to Ascend RC. My name is Daniel. Today I'm going to show you how you can take apart a GoPro Hero 5 session quite easily without doing much, if any, damage to it at all. Let's get into it. Welcome to a place where design meets fun, where crazy ideas are the norm, and failure is just an exciting adventure, where the fun had and the memories made are the measures of success. Welcome to Ascend RC. Just so everybody knows, this one does work. I have an SD card in it right now. If I turn it on, light comes on. Should be recording right now. So you see me right now. <laughs> and... Yeah, let's see what we can do. So one of the first things to note is this GoPro is already missing the front glass. If you have one that still has the glass on there, there'll be a bunch of little screws right here to dig into to try to take off and the glass should come right off. Mine's already gone. The back of this one's already off just a little bit. I've uh, seen a way to get into here, into these that uh, might be even easier than trying to take it off from the back. So we're going to try that first. But first thing we're going to do, take out the SD card. If I can get it. There we go. And go grab my wife's hairdryer. <laughs> Alright, so the whole idea is if you heat up, especially the front portion of it, this line here, it should separate on it, take the door with it, and pull all of the internals out of the case. I've seen a lot of guys actually cutting the case apart to try to get in, but let's try this and just see if it works. So grab the hairdryer. All right, let's try that. Let's see if that's enough to actually start separating it. All right, let's go find a sharper screwdriver. All right, I added a little more heat and got a little bit better tips now on here. A little bit sharper, so we're gonna try that. See if that'll work. Problem is the case is rubbery. I wonder what's under the rubbery case. Ah, so it's, there's a plastic under the rubbery case. So I've got to get down further to get something to even pry against. That's what's going on. And I don't care that I am trashing the case on this one. If you were actually wanting to do this to do repair, you might want to be a little more careful about what you're doing to the, the outside case. But in my case, I'm not worried about that. I've seen movement, so that's good. Let's move to another corner. Let's see if we can get the same kind of movement. Oops. <laughs> oh, don't stab yourself either. Getting movement there. There we go. Starting to get it. think you want to keep that released. No, maybe not. The uh, the latch mechanism just slips in here, so even with it latched, it should slide off just fine. So yeah, that'll let me hold it maybe a little better. 
There we go. Oh, there goes the clip on there. Ah, it's just a little clipped in piece. It clips onto the pin there. Nice. Look at that. Ta-da. Wow, that was actually quite easy. So everybody who's cutting into these, cutting the case to get into it, don't do that. Heat it up. It'll pry apart. You can even fix it if you want to, if you don't mind having little things like that, or be careful with how you cut into it or um, pry into it. And you can probably save it pretty easily, repair it and save it pretty easily. So cool. Well, I'll hold on to the case there. And uh, yeah, nice. I am impressed with that. All right. Hey, and it's still on, apparently. <laughs> A little bit of glass from the screen. You can tell the screen really broke good there. But that is just fine. Okay. Perfect. Well, I hope you found that helpful and informative on how to separate the case on a GoPro Hero 5 session and get down to the internals of the camera. In the very next video, we're going to go over how to how to tear down to the individual component level um, of the internals. So stick around to watch that part and see how to do that. And if you have any questions on any of this process, please post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video.